Well, hey there. So today is a pretty big day for me. It's our last day in the studio before we hand in on Monday. Um, so we're gonna go in, paint the studio, and get it all ready. And then I've got two days left at uni. And that's my three years done. It's just gone so quickly, it's pretty crazy. So I'm wearing pretty old clothes and of course the jelly shoes because I will be covered in paint in a few hours time. <laughs> So we went to get coffee, but I decided that I wanted to be filled with the wisdom of the Buddhist monks. So I got this vivid drink, pear and rhubarb, and it says it's the nature's most powerful green tea for centuries by Buddhist monks for focus during meditation and wisdom. So hopefully I'll be more wisdomous by the end of this. So this is the before. So, first coat done. Does it look any better? Yeah. What do you think? And yes, I am completely covered in paint. Anyone else covered in paint? Yeah. Completely covered. I think we've got more on us than we have on the walls. It's soup day! So at uni we have the best soups every day and today it's carrot and coriander. Well, not broccoli. Yeah. I like broccoli. Not broccoli. The broccoli one was good, although like it did make the whole room smell like someone was cooking roast dinner. But carrot and coriander so far pretty good. Is that right, Anna? So we got all of two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. Two minutes. Outside of my flat. Two and seconds. we've already had to stop because we just have so much stuff and it's already tried to fly away so if we make it I'll let you know. We made it! <laughs> Yay! Some of the stuff did fly away and a kind guy helped us but we done it! <laughs> it's getting there guys. It's starting to look good but there's still a long way to go. Here you go, what do you think? So I've still got to go get my frames and bring them in so I'll show you what it looks like once I've brought them in and then I still need to hang quite a few samples but I'm going to do that on Monday morning because we hand in at two so I need to go and get some invisible wire and stuff over the weekend and finish some stuff up and then that's it all done. I don't know why I'd done it even in the back of my head when I put my shoes on this morning I thought this isn't going to end well. So I wore my jelly shoes because I thought paint will come off of them, it will be easy to wipe them off rather than any of my other shoes, but I wore them without socks. So my feet are in so much pain right now, like it's just rubbed them raw, I don't know, I don't, do you want to see this? It's so painful, I got blisters. And it's just rubbed the skin completely off my foot. I love jelly shoes and it's totally my own fault because the first time I got them I wore them without socks and it done the exact same thing. So it's my own fault I guess but a warning to anyone who wants jelly shoes and hasn't yet bought them, wear them with socks or tights. Socks and sandals, it's, you can rock it now, it's a totally cool thing to do. They've done it in all the catwalks, so do it. Do not wear them without socks. Just, it will cause more pain than it is worth. I am heading to Tesco because I don't know if you guys watch CTFXE with Charles Trippy. If you don't, go and check it out. I watch it every day, completely obsessed. Um, and he's been eating Rice Krispies with chocolate milk and I have been craving it since I saw him first do it. So I'm finally gonna go, a little treat, for having everything in my space today. Um, and I also really want watermelon. Gonna blame Beyonce for that. I'll see you in a bit. The sunglasses have been put on, but it looks like they'll be taken off in a minute. Cause look at these gray clouds.
So we went to Tesco and we were halfly victorious, if that's a thing. Half victorious, halfly victorious. If it's not, I just made it up. And it's a new thing, you know, halfly victorious. We got the Rice Krispies, but I was looking for the Alpro chocolate milk because I've had the miniature cartons of those before. Um, and they're just delicious, so good. Um, but Tesco didn't have any big cartons of them. So I managed to find this, which is Tesco own chocolate and coconut milk. Um, so I just thought, I'll give it a go. If I don't like it, then it's not good. I so can't open this with one hand. One second. And we're back. It um, smells like chocolate milk. It looks a bit thinner than like, chocolate milk, but we'll give it a go. Not bad. Not bad. That's actually pretty good. So there you go. If you can't find the Alpro one, the Tesco free from chocolate and coconut milk is pretty good. Um, so I can only promise that as this is the first vlog, they will only get better, hopefully. Um, and as you can probably see, if you've had a look at this little picture, I think it's up here, there are two of us. Um, the other person that's gonna be doing these vlogs is my boyfriend, Matthew, um, but he's based in Manchester and I'm at uni in Leicester. Um, and he's just a bit busy with work at the moment, but I am heading up to Manchester on Tuesday next week so the day after hand in I'm going up um, because I am planning on moving up there once I'm done here so I'm going to go job hunting next week so we'll have a little trip to Manchester next week so I'm going to have my dinner which is of course going to be Rice Krispies and chocolate milk because I'm such a grown up and I'll see you guys soon bye <laughs>